Uh, this review is for another uh, official selection to my first edition uh, in January 2020. And uh, this film has a very uh, interesting title. It is, um, it's a combination of our seasons and four seasons. So the F is in brackets uh, attached to the hour. So it's our seasons and four seasons. And um, ironically, uh, it does capture in a very wonderfully graphic way uh, four seasons. You've got snow, you've got summer, you've got uh, uh, autumn and so forth. And it also covers uh, different points of view of the story um, from different cities around the world. And the cities are Madrid, Chicago uh, and New York. Um, Four Seasons is a silent film uh, submitted under the silent short film category running for 14 minutes uh, and submitted by director Miguel um, Gabaldon um, and what Miguel has done is um, he has uh, given us a film that is packed with dialogue, packed with conversation, packed with communication amongst people but without mm -hmm. using uh, words and without even using sign language. So he's in a sense um, emphasized the visual language or visual communication via emotions and expressions without saying a lot but without saying anything. So it's, it, it's a silent film to the point that there is no physical use of, of, of words be it sign language or be it um, a spoken word. Um, but it's filled with visual expressions, with, 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 with looks and with gestures. Um, what Miguel has done also is he's um, touched the topics of uh, a, a range of um, emotions uh, within the LGBTQ uh, community, uh, but not only that. So he really has uh, um, done a, a favour to any person who wants to express their, th th their friendship or their love to someone. Um, but when when the people are in a situation where they've got so much emotion in their heart um, but they can't find the words to express it, they might use a hand gesture, they might use their eyes, they might use their mouth in various ways, um, but they're not going to specifically use the word because that isn't necessary. Uh, and I love the fact that it's an intercultural film. I really appreciate the fact that uh, you've got a bit of the American culture, you've got a bit of the European culture, and you've got um, a whole range of, of the environmental uh, elements that might either favour or hinder uh, human communication uh, to, to, to explore within ourselves what we think um, the Four Seasons signify to the people involved and how they are very personal in that the seasons become our seasons from the point of view of the characters. So it's a very clever film um, that leaves the audience um, a bit of space to speculate and a bit of space to guess, but also a bit of space to appreciate what is the information that's been given uh, in the story and, and appreciate what, what, what they're witnessing. Um, yeah, 15 minutes of runtime. Uh, there, there, there is a lot of visual variety. There's a lot of visual um, uh, spectacle in terms of the, the various weather um, elements uh, taking place. Um, but ultimately, this this very factor of of, of uh, communicating uh, personal emotions um, amongst characters and to an audience uh, in such a an original way, without using any form of communication, but yet being filled with communication. Um, I thought was quite special, so um, that, that is why Four Seasons or Our Seasons uh, deserved quite easily the finalist um, selection for our first edition. So thank you very much Miguel for um, enabling all of your audiences to experience uh, alternate forms of communication uh, within your very special narrative.